So Matt, hello. That's me. And you, so you are the owner of HMS Upholder. I am, yeah. This great looking RC submarine. I've posted a few RC submarine videos on my YouTube channel and people ask how they actually work. Yeah. So could you just take us through the basics? Yeah, I'll give you the best shot. Do you want me to take the lid off? Yeah, please, yeah. yeah. So, so it just lifts up at the back there, just uh, usually has a thumb screw or an Allen key bolt in there you take care. Okay, yeah. Uh, this just lifts off at the back, slides forward. Uh, it's got pins all the way down the side, which correspond to little holes in that lip, keeps the hull stable. Okay. Uh, now in terms of the, the shell, the basic yeah. shell, You've bought that from a... Yeah, a company called OTW. OTW? Um, yeah, based in Loughborough, uh, run by Bob Dimmer. Um, so he produces, he's like basically at his house, um, but he always does exceptional kits, glass fibre hulls, uh, and then it's like a polycarb clear uh, cylinder. But then, in okay, and but then all the internals you have to put in place, is yeah, that right? Yeah, so you get the hull, uh, top and bottom, and the cylinder, um, but it's like bare bones cylinder, so you have to fit all your own radio gear. Um, you get the basics like the pump and the motor. Um, right, so first thing, this is yeah. water, a watertight cylinder watertight, to house yeah. all the electronics, yeah. all the radio gear, so that's servos, the motor. Motor, motor compartment. You've got your receiver just under that strap, um, and then that's the pump compartment at the front. The pump? Yeah. So for what? For ballast. To, okay. So that's what how it does your trim up and down. So I don't know if you can see if you follow the pipe. There's a little hole on the end of that bulkhead. Yes. Uh, pumps in that way, <laughs> and then there's a solenoid just down below it, which yeah. opens as soon as you start pumping. That solenoid opens, uh, and then it starts to flood your ballast tank. And that's is, when you go down. That's when you start. When going the sub down. goes down. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Um, so that that basically that hole compartment there is the, is the ballast water uh, water that you take on yeah to it pumps it up there's a little probe inside a brass probe you probably can't see it very well because of condensation but it fills up about 70 percent because as the water's coming in that tank it compresses the air inside of that yes and um, it also goes into that compartment a little bit but the air is like compressed then so as soon as you're at maximum ballast, the solenoid shuts off to prevent the compressed air pushing the water back. Gotcha. So that's how you keep your level trim. Okay. Because if you didn't have that solenoid, your, um, your water pressure would try and force it back out past the pump. Okay. Oh, interesting. So yeah. And then it's just the opposite. Um, when you want to surface, the solenoid opens, pump pumps out. And your water level starts to drop. The sub comes up. Comes up to the surface. Yeah. And then uh, your, your drive system. So, brushed or brushless? Uh, brushless motor. Brushless. Um, so it can't get wet. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Quite important. Well, if if you've got condensation like that tank, that's meant to have it in, obviously. But if you take the sub out and you've got that inside there, you know you've got a leak. Yes. So when these are clear, they're nice and dry. Right. Um, but yeah, brushless motor. Um, and then it just turns a shaft through there, which has got a little o-ring, and then that keeps the water out from going past. Okay. Um, uh, okay, so that's drive. Now, how about in terms of direction? What controls have you got? You've got two, uh, two servos in there, right? Yeah, there's three. Three, um, oh, okay. Yeah. So you've got forward dive planes. Which, which are here. Um, yeah, so this, I'll just move it with my hands. You yeah. see that servo turns. Um, I've had to step it out to a, like a bell crank here just to go past the battery. So yeah. that's that would be to bring this front of the sub up to surface. Pitch up Pitch. and down, is that right? Yeah. Am I using the right terminology Dive. there? <laughs> Dive, okay. Dive we'll and surface. Use that. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then the opposite, when it's that way, it will drive the sub down. So you will just fire up that way. Okay. Um, so that's that now one. some simple subs that RC subs work like that, don't they? They don't have yeah, the yeah. concept, they don't have ballast, they just work off a drive system yeah. to push them down. So this is classed as a static dive submarine. Static so dive. You, you, could, you don't have to have any drive from the motor, you can just sit it and it'll go straight down. Gotcha. But some subs you need to drive the propeller quite fast, angle those planes down and the sub will just dive. Gotcha. Um, but you have to have quite a low freeboard for that to happen. So. And um, what I mean by that is that's 
the water line of this one. Yes. If I tried to drive that down, I wouldn't have enough power to push it under the water. Okay. So when your water level is there and you do that, you, you've got less to sub to push under, really. Okay. That's the best way I can just And Okay, so that's... And then at the back, you've got two servos. Yeah, two servos. So and one's, one's controls your rudder, top and bottom. They're, they're linked together inside the, the, the tail cone. Yes. Um, so if I just turn that one for you, that's the servo there. Steers left and right. Yeah. Quite easy. Um, and the back one really is the most important because it has an automatic leveller on the sub. So when I control the dive planes, the rears will automatically try and level the boat out. And that's that's electronic. It's all done electronic. So it's like a. It's autonomous. Okay. Um, so yeah, just. Is that a, gy a gyro effectively? Uh, yeah, basically, it's like helicopters. You know how they have gyros. Yes. But just the opposite for uh, a sub. Okay. So if I was to angle the boat down like that, these would go down that to way. compensate well, for that. Oh, sorry, because. Because the angle's in a dive, it will want to push the, the tail down now, levelling the boat out, um, and then obviously they'll go the opposite way as well. Great. And they're all linked just by uh, this crank, if I take that out. Should come out. And then that's all linked on these, because mm. you haven't got a lot of room to play about in there, so I've brought everything backwards. So it's more accessible, yeah. easier to tune. And uh, Yeah, I can uh, adjust. If one's slightly out, I can adjust on there. Then. Yeah, so there nothing all. worse than having fat fingers in a small space. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just got to make it I know easy that's for you. Great. Okay. Thanks very much for taking no us worries, through okay. the basics of an RC submarine. I didn't know any of that, so yeah. thanks very much. So right, I'm going to put it in again in a minute. So. Oh, okay. Look forward to that. Some thanks again. Running around. No worries. It's all right. Sometimes 
What's happened is now the, the air inside the tank has compressed and then now you let it off there, it's got to expand again, hasn't it? So it's forcing the air, that's the water, that's extra water. That's perfect, that's perfect trimming. To be honest, I'm going to just hold the pressure, that's where I might have control of the leak. I might have added those in. Yeah. I'm not knocking it because it works. Well, technically, the idea is technically it's supposed to like, keep it running, but it's just a quirky thing we found out and went, this is a good trick. And then I say we can turn around to you and say, balance it to this, and then you drive and sail not nice as that, and then if you want to park the trick and do that, happy days, and look what you're doing. So, I mean, I've, I've done the survey with the last time, and that works